多义听力 Part Four 读白，题目播放五秒后开始播放音档，练习后有中英文字稿，答案在影片最后哦。Questions four through six refer to the following telephone message and webinar schedule. This is Emily Chen from Chun Enterprises. We connected last week during the Digital Commerce Summit. I attended your insightful webinar on cybersecurity and spoke to you afterward about my e-commerce platform security concerns. I'm reaching out because I'd like to engage your services to enhance the security of my company's digital transactions. I know you specialize in this area, and I'm hopeful you'll be interested in collaborating on this project. Could you please email me a breakdown of your consulting fees? Use the email address provided in our previous correspondence. Thank you. 多义听力 Part Four 读白，中英文字稿开始播放。Questions four through six refer to the following telephone message and webinar schedule. This is Emily Chen from Chun Enterprises. We connected last week during the Digital Commerce Summit. I attended your insightful webinar on cybersecurity and spoke to you afterward about my e-commerce platform security concerns. I'm reaching out because I'd like to engage your services to enhance the security of my company's digital transactions. I know you specialize in this area, and I'm hopeful you'll be interested in collaborating on this project. Could you please email me a breakdown of your consulting fees? Use the email address provided in our previous correspondence. Thank you. Number four. What is the purpose of the telephone message? A. To confirm a workshop registration. B to announce a new company policy. C to offer a consulting opportunity. D to promote a cybersecurity product. Number five. Look at the schedule. Who is the speaker contacting? A. David Nguyen. B. Sarah Patel. C. Michael Johnson. D. Lisa Chang. Number six. What does the speaker request the recipient to do? A. Review a product demo. B. Provide fee details. C. Share a webinar recording. D. Update a presentation slide.